Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm in parking lot four here at Del Norwegians Pass State Park. Just wanted to show you one of the great features here of the park. One of the great amenities is this concession stand here. Some of the things you can do here is you can rent a kayak, a canoe, paddle boards, beach chairs, umbrellas. The concession stands right in the middle of parking lot four. There's some of the food and drink items they have. They also have some of your beach essentials, souvenirs and beach essentials. So keep that in mind. If you got kids with you, you want to be near parking lot four. If you think they're going to be needing some snacks, there's some of the beach lounge chairs that they rent over there. Let's take a walk out to the beach. It's pretty empty here in the parking lot. The park officially opens at eight, but they've been opening the gates earlier. They've been opening the gates at 7.30. There's one car down there. And let's see, just only my car all the way down at the end and Roy's car. That's about it. Look at that sky. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. walk out to the beach here. Beautiful. Let's see if we had any sea turtles crawl up on the beach last night. There's some of the picnic tables. You've heard me mention the picnic tables and barbecue grills. There's one of the picnic areas right over there. You can see there's a lot of tables here and these tables are just spread out all along the beach here, just behind the beach. Nice little grills, bring your own charcoal. Please clean up after yourself, leave it the way you found it. Be sure to bring your bug spray though, this time of year. The no CMs are out. Let's take a walk out to the beach. See what it looks like this morning, see what we can find. Maybe find some interesting shells or maybe get lucky and spot a dolphin or something. Well, I see our ranger just stopped. Over here, looks like we had a sea turtle crawl right here. Awesome, awesome. That is cool. We're just getting into the nesting season. The crawl tracks here. Here's where our sea turtle crawled back to the water. The ranger's gonna see how long the crawl was. She's gonna measure the distance of the crawl. These are the tracks leading back to the water. These are loggerhead sea turtle tracks. She came up on shore. Looks like she came up on shore over here. You can see how these tracks, they kind of look like big tractor tires. If you come across these on the beach, try to walk around them, give the rangers a chance to do their thing. But that's what this, the crawl looks like. Very cool. 
Hey, good morning. Here's where she came up and attempted to make a nest. And then return back to the water. Pretty cool. See the return tracks over there. Have there been any successful crawls yet? Um, we have a nest further down by the ranger station. Oh, um, sweet. And then I'll verify this one. But this one just kind of looks like a Yeah. So we have one nest. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. One nest so far. This is probably a false crawl. That's when the sea turtle comes up on shore but doesn't lay any eggs. One more look at those tracks. So you know what you're looking at if you see them out on the beach. Pretty cool. So what the park rangers do here, they don't do this on all the beaches here in Southwest Florida, but here at Del Norwegans, the rangers will actually just gently excavate some of the sand in the nest. They'll look for the eggs. They'll just verify that eggs have been laid and then they'll mark the nest. They don't do that everywhere. A lot of times you'll see the markings You'll see the posts with the ribbon and the metal cage. That just means the sea turtle might have laid eggs here, but if you come to Del Norwegans and you see a sea turtle nest marked on the beach, there's definitely eggs there. The rangers do verify that. They keep track of how many eggs actually hatch. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna start to see more and more of these tracks on the beach here over the next several months. Nesting season officially begins in the month of May. So we have one successful crawl so far down in area one. There's a little clamshell. I see Roy. Oh, he's way down the beach. There he is. I see him down there, down to the south. He must have got an early start this morning. I've seen quite a few old conch shells already washed up on the beach. Here's an old Florida fighting conch shell. Pretty faded out. Still kind of neat looking though. Lots of great little shells along the shore here, right along the water line. The tide's on its way in. There's a nice little worm tip, a wormy tip. That's the tip of the worm shell. Maybe we'll find a bigger one along the beach here. Never know what we're going to come across. There's a nice little kitten's paw. Kitten's paw shell. It's got some nice color. Kitten paw. Kitten's paw. Nice color on that one. Gorgeous morning out here. Temperature's about 75 degrees. Expecting a high today in the low 90s. Woo! The low 90s today. Wow.
Water temperature is 83. It's a little piece of worm rock. That's a nice little piece. That's cool looking. Worm rock. We usually find this quite a few, see so quite a few pieces of this on the beach. Very cool looking when you look at it up close. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Great. Some early risers out at the beach already. I can't blame them. This is the best time to get out here. Get out here early in the morning. Ah, thought I found a little moon shell or shark eye. It's just the top of it. Just the top of the shell right there. The moon shell. Or shark eye. They call these a shark eye. See the eye there in the center. You can see a lot of little worm tips out here. Quite a few worm tips. You find them in all different sizes. I'll just show you how there. Just right standing right here. Picked up five of them. Wormy tips. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's kind of cool. There's three different shells. That's kind of neat. Three different shells stuck together. Actually grown. I don't know what you would call that. They're all stuck together. That's kind of neat. That's cool. Hi, Rob. Morning, Roy. How are you doing this morning? Good, good. Did you see the big turtle crawl? Yeah, I saw the one there. Was that it? Yeah, I think they got a nest up there. Uh, she doesn't think so. Oh, really? It looked like it a nest like to me. didn't look like there was much digging there. Oh, it looked like a nest to me. Yeah. I looked it over and I, there was a lot There's of no, digging up there. Yeah, well, she's checking it out. but Is she digging down now? I don't know if they are or not. She might. She, the ranger said it didn't look very positive on that one, but you never know. There's no little squiggly line on the return. Her little tail wasn't dragging on the way back to the water. Oh, is that important? Yeah. It's actually with the tube, the eggs come out after they lay the eggs. All right. It kind of, it hangs down from, and then it'll leave a little squiggly line I in between the I never knew the that. Yep, so look for that on the crawl back. Well, my tail drags occasionally, but <laughs> I don't leave a squiggly line, though. You don't leave a squiggly line? No, I try not to. <laughs> That'd be funny if you did. <laughs> like a dog <laughs> scratching oh, my, its behind. My, my crutches keep my tail from dragging. Oh, that's good. It works out pretty good. The, the turtles don't have crutches though. Hey, what do we got? What's that out there? We got a new buoy floating out there. Yeah, yeah, that was coming by the other. Well, there's another one over here. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Huh. A couple new buoys out there in the water. Interesting. When yeah. did they put them in? Yesterday? No, the old the old uh, plows are sure going. Dredges are going great out there, I'll tell you, man. The dredges? Got one early when I was down here, they pulled the way out. Oh, this morning I had a pink sunrise. Oh, oh it, it was, was nice. Glorious. I saw yeah. that. Boy, it was pretty. Yeah. yeah, that was really pretty. See any dolphins? No dolphins. Darn. Not for quite a few Where days. Where are these dolphins at? Oh. Maybe she's back on her wagon. I'll ask her what she yeah. figures. She figured it looks like a false crawl. She just measured how long it was, how long the tracks were. But uh, oh well, I'm sure we have one nest already. Oh, I hear way one down, down at the there, end. Yeah. yeah, down at area one at the That's entrance. Good. How many eggs do they lay? Quite a few. Oh my gosh, they I, could lay 50 to 100. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I understand not too many of them make it to maturity. Nope. They say I think they say one in a thousand. One in a thousand? Yeah. Oh, must be more than that. No, not very many. They get they get eaten up as soon as they get in the water. 
Well, I understand they get eaten on their nest too. There's a crab that goes, even Those though crabs. they put something right, he goes off to the side down, and then he goes horizontally yep. to where the eggs are. Yep. Huh. Yeah, we're talking about sea turtle nests, folks. Yeah. They, and the raccoons are bad here too at the park. Well, they put a screen around for the raccoons. Well, those those but... raccoons get around it sometimes. Yeah, I understand when the little turtles are running down to the to the water, the the birds swoop. The birds. Around. That's why they normally hatch in the middle of the night. Oh, there's a thought. Yeah, that's just their that's Mother Nature oh, doing her thing. That's... Good idea. I suppose they got a little time clock, and they oh, know yeah. when it comes on it's midnight. Amazing. Midnight, the bell rings, and they whoop, they come out it's of the It's pretty nest. amazing how it works. <laughs> so every once in a while, you'll see them right before sunset. They'll pop out, but really, yeah, the odds of catching that are pretty slim. Yeah, I bet. I think it's the incubation's about 50 days. I think I told you it was quite a thrill that the, the, there wasn't any ranger around. And I reached down, and they were hatching out, and I got an egg. I held it in my hand, and a little turtle, he hatched out right in my hand. Yeah. It was really something. That was a thrill. But that thrill would land you in the slammer if they caught you. <laughs> well, I'm not making any definite statements for the Facebook. You're saying, well, I wish I had the opportunity to do that, right? But I, I protected him. I put him back in very yeah. carefully, so no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't need them. Yes, thank goodness. Keep that out of the book. Keep that story out of the book. <laughs> oh, so what else is new? Anything? Well, it's just that life is glorious. Oh, One more flies. glorious, wonderful, fabulous day. All these flies around. Yeah. They're really bad. You got your can of Raid with you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> there was one guy in the parking lot the other day. I thought it was pretty cute. He says, if heaven is half this good, let me in, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not in a rush to get there. <laughs> Definitely want to get there someday. Not right but, now. But not today. <laughs> uh, let me go do my beach walk here, and I'll touch base with you okay. on the way back. Okay. I see Scott and Linda are already up there walking on the beach. Oh, good. I got to say hi to them. Good show. Any hugs this morning? No, not yet. No I've hugs yet this morning? Up here, that out here, that I get a good hug from there, her hopefully. So everything is going good, and if people want to get my book, you know, they've been ordering, oh, I'm going to go to press. I got enough customers now that I'm going to press with it. In fact, Sandy's getting it all typed up, and, That's and good. I'll be getting it printed up and sent out. So they can send the 20 bucks to 718. Oh, they got that. 718 95th Avenue. So North, the book's all done, huh? Naples, Florida, 34108. Roy T. Hazy, H A S E. Okay, I hope everybody enjoys it. Well, I hope so too. I, I'm a really. Uh, I hope it's a good read for him. Yeah, I, I'm pleased about it, and hopefully it'll have some ho hopeful suggestions to people, helpful suggestions. Well, there you go. That's all you can hope for. <laughs> hope they pay attention to the lesson in there, the lessons. Well, I don't know about lessons, but thoughts. <laughs> Your wisdom. I don't know about their wisdom either. <laughs> the just, great oracle just, has just, spoken. <laughs> Rob, you're embarrassing me. I'm not a great oracle. <laughs> As long as you don't call me an expert. I, an expert, okay. I told you about the definition of an expert, didn't I? Uh, what's your definition of an expert? Well, the def definition of expert, X is a has-been and spurt is a drip under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so don't call me an expert. Okay. Your master. The master, how's that? No, just... Just good morning, it's sufficient. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the tide's coming in fast. No kidding. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, 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 cover everything up here. Uh, All right. I'll, ca I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey, All right. Nice seeing you, man. No dead fish on the beach? No. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's fabulous. Yep, it looks great. Yeah, All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Ooh, the tide is definitely moving in here gonna start washing all the little shells back into the water here that are along the shoreline. Yeah, we'll 
take our morning walk anyway. What the heck? There's another worm tip. This one has a little piece of the shell on it. Well, there's two. There's one with, that's a nice worm shell. Look at that. That is a beautiful worm shell right there. And then there's the tip over there. That is a gorgeous worm shell. Wow. I'm afraid to put that one in my pocket. They're pretty fragile. I'm gonna keep that though. That is a beautiful worm shell. Great specimen. Boy, there are a lot of flies out here. I think it's partially due to the fact that the rangers and the volunteers, the park staff, they, all the dead fish that were on the beach from the red tide, they just dug big pits and buried them in it. They dug pretty deep holes, but I'm sure the flies can smell those fish rotting. You can't smell it. There's no bad smell on the beach, but it was bad a couple of weeks ago. Woo, wicked. A nice little conch shell buried in the sand. Nothing in there. Empty Florida fighting conch shell. Beautiful shells. I wish the sun would pop out. It ducked in behind the clouds. Always check to make sure nothing's inside. This one just has, has another shell stuck in it. <laughs> Beautiful, the Florida fighting conks. Well, there's a big turkey wing shell over here. Great look at a turkey wing shell. If you're just joining us for the first time, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. That's what this is all about. Get some conversations going there. We had one turtle crawl, one loggerhead sea turtle crawl, made an attempt to dig a nest, but it was a false crawl. I'll show you the crawl tracks there in a minute when I turn around and head back up the beach. I'll show you those again. Comes two choppers, two helicopters. I don't know if you can see them, those are our Actually, they spray for the mosquitoes here. Those are two spray helicopters. I don't know if you can see them. I know you can hear them. Over there now. Mosquito control. Well, I'm hoping to find a Nice little moon shell again this morning. Found a nice one the other day. Nice little shark eye before the tide comes in. But you, just, you never know what you're gonna find out here. The tide is definitely starting to come in fast now. High tide is oh, about 9.15. If you were listening earlier, you heard Roy talk about he picked up a sea turtle egg. Please, please do not ever, ever, ever do that. That is against the law. Don't tamper with the nests, don't tamper with the eggs, don't touch the hatchlings if you happen to come across them on the beach. 
give them their distance, let them crawl into the water like Mother Nature intended. Don't take any flash photography of the hatchlings. And if you happen to see a loggerhead sea turtle on the beach at night, stay away from it. Or any sea turtle for that matter. Here in Southwest Florida, the loggerheads are the common sea turtles that nest. Huh. Well, I think I'm gonna turn around, head back up the beach, see what we come across. Keep my fingers crossed. There'll be something nice out there waiting for us. There's a lot of people ahead of me. There's a biting conch shell with some seaweed on it. That's funny looking. <laughs> Looks like a conch shell with a head of hair. <laughs> That's funny. Expecting a high of 92 degrees today. Wow, 92. The forecast says clear skies. Well, look at that. Doesn't look clear to me. The sun's hiding behind those that big patch of clouds right up here. We should come out. There's a little piece of a lace murex. Maybe an apple, that was an apple murex. Piece of an apple murex shell. Just a little piece. Oh. Yeah, is that a live one? Did it move? Yeah, I think it is. That's a horseshoe crab. Yeah, he might be alive. Yep. It's a little baby horseshoe. Is he moving? Is he better off in the water? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, wow. he's alive. He's not sure. doing too good, though. But yeah, we'll put him in the water. Can take a quick picture? Let me put him on the sand, and you can see him better there. It's a little horseshoe. Those things are like, have been looks, around forever. His shell looks um, transparent. Yeah. They actually shed those. Do they really? Yep. Really? So a lot of times you'll see the shells up on the beach. They're not oh, dead. Wow. They're not dead crabs. They're just just the shells. Like lobsters do that too. Don't yep. They? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, we'll put time, them. Eh? We'll put them back in the water. water. Awesome. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You too. We'll set this little guy back in the water. He's not very active, but we'll give him a fighting chance. See you later, little fella. No, he's not sinking. He's floating. That's unusual. He's not doing too well. Come on. You can see his eyes there. I'm going to try to see if I can get him, un put him underwater. I think he might be a goner. Sad. Yeah, see, he's floating to the top. That's sad. So sad, probably another victim of the red tide. Now the circle of life, it's not always pleasant. I'm walking north. I'm in North Naples, Florida, if you're just joining us. At Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Here's something that 
I don't want to see. I don't like seeing. Please, please do not leave any holes on the beach. If you dig a hole on the beach, your kids dig a hole, please fill it in. It is extremely important this time of year. Now we have our loggerhead sea turtles crawling up on shore. We don't want them to have to you know, have any obstacles in their way. So please fill in any holes that you dig on the beach. Very, very important. Do whatever you want. Have fun while you're here at the beach, but just leave it the way you found it. Cool little worm tip shell I found earlier. It's a great worm, worm shell, not a worm tip. Usually we just find that, the tips. There's a nice worm shell right there. Nice specimen. Walking up the beach here. We'll check in with Roy again a little later. You can see the line of shells that was along the shoreline starting to get pulled back into the gulf by the tide coming in. We might still luck out and find something. I see Roy and Linda and Scott Magyar are up there doing some shelling. They might have found something neat up there. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hit that share button. Let your friends follow along with us here. Here's the crawl tracks from the loggerhead sea turtle. We had one crawl on the beach last night. It's just the beginning of season, so it's not too active yet. But you can see the tracks. These are the return tracks coming back to the water from the loggerhead sea turtle. Over here, this is where she came out of the water. The way you can tell is you can, if you look at the tracks, you can see how the sand, see how that sand is pushed back? And she, you know, she almost scoops the sand with her feet. She crawled up, she came up the beach. Almost up to the dunes. Still see the tracks here coming up. And she came up here, dug around for a little bit, attempted to make a nest. This is a false crawl. This is where she attempted her nest, to nest, and then she returned to the water there. See the tracks going back to the water? The return tracks? If this were a successful crawl, right in the middle of these return tracks, you'll see a little squiggly line. I don't see that little squiggly line here and neither did the ranger so they pretty much wrote that off as a false crawl probably an inexperienced female coming up on the beach a young female she'll be back they come back several times and they can lay they can lay several sets of eggs during the nesting season, not just, they don't just come up and lay eggs one time during a season. They can lay eggs multiple times during the nesting season. So that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a, what's left of a whelk shell, the top of a lightning whelk. Lightning whelks are such gorgeous shells. 
just the top of one. There goes a pelican flying by. So neat, the pelicans. Just soaring just a foot off the water. I know our friend Scott up there, he's looking for some shark's teeth. Oh, I just saw Roy get a hug up there. Lucky dog. Good for Roy. Oh, here's another little horseshoe crab. This is just the shell that was shed. There's a little one. Missing its tail. What's left of a little horseshoe crab? Just the shell that it shed. Thing over here on this little bump. Boy, that looks like a good place to find shark's teeth out here. I know our friends have already been out here looking, so I don't think I'm gonna find any. This is a great spot right here. This is right in the middle of Area 4 Beach. Hmm. Neat little shells. Look at that. There's. I don't know what that was. Huh. Might have been a little murex, an apple murex, piece of a little apple murex shell right there. Oops. Didn't hold on to it. Was that a drill shell? Forget what these are called. Now the sun's coming out. Finally. Oh darn it, there's a piece of an angel wing shell. These are so fragile. These angel wings. It's just a piece of one. A piece of an angel wing. Lots of slipper shells out here. Boy, they have been in abundance lately, the slipper shells. Looks like a little slipper when you turn it over. The slipper shell. Lots of cockle shells on the beach again today. Another, another horseshoe crab shell. Oh, I've seen quite a few of them on the beach. Seen lots of cockles on the beach this morning. Lots of cockle shells. Here's the horseshoe crab. Seen lots of worm, worm shells, worm tips. Let's see, it's part of a little jewel box. Piece of a jewel box shell. There's a black scallop shell. It's 
missing its little wings down at the bottom. Little black scallop, kind of fading, almost gray. are beautiful. This piece of a pen shell down here. Look at the iridescent color of that. That's part of a pen shell, P-E-N. Look, look at the colors on that. Isn't that beautiful? So many neat things when you just stop and take the time to look. We all know what what these are. I hope you know what those are by now. I hope you know what that is. Go ahead and comment. Tell everybody what those are. I'm testing you. And what are these? What are these two little shells? Hang on, I get them situated in my hand. What are those two little shells? I've told you a thousand times now, you should know what those are by now. Let's see who's paying attention to the lesson. But the sun's coming out now, really warming up nice. Can't believe it's gonna be in the 90s today. Can you believe that? 90 degrees, wow. Looks like Roy's gonna set up camp out on the beach today for a change, instead of under the trees. What a difference between the winter and summer here at the beach. Hardly any people out here this time of year. Although there are, there's a big group ahead of me there. I can't blame them, it's such a beautiful morning here. There's our buddy. I saw you got a couple hugs there. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah, how about that? That was nice. That's a great way to start yeah, your day. A lucky guy, like. <laughs> oh, I'm reading a new book about uh, a, a new group book that went all the way down the Amazon. Oh, really? Where are the headwaters? Way up in the mountains, all the way down to the sea. Wow. Quite a, quite a story. That's a long trip. Yeah. yeah. I guess 4,000 miles of river. 4,000 miles. They Something went like the that. whole distance in the yeah. Amazon. Wow. That's amazing. That's got to be an interesting book. Yeah, they're running into a lot of problems with uh, some of the local populace, you know, pop populace. There's a, you know, there's always constantly wars going on and the people yep. are killing each other and that sort of thing. Right. So they're running into some of that. They have to protect themselves. Hey, Patty got her boat, you know. Huh? You know, Patty got her boat. Oh, she did finally. Yeah, yeah she was talking about it. So we got to go out on Patty Knight's oh, new boat. Oh, that would be great, yeah. Take the camera along. With, let everybody come with us for a ride on Facebook. Oh, what we'll a good time. We'll take them for a boat yeah, ride. That'll be great. Won't that be fun? Yeah, yeah. So you gotta sit out here, huh? Well, to, down by the shore, yeah, not, until it gets too hot, I'll move all right. back up. There's I'll be little, back. There's less museums down here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Good show. Our good friend Roy, 93 years old. We'll stop and have a chat with him on the way back. He's always got something interesting to say. He's seen a lot of things. 
in his lifetime. Ooh, 93 years old. Can you imagine all the change he has seen? Changes in medicine and science and technology. I want to catch up to Linda and Scott up here, see what they're finding. They're ahead of me, they're getting all the nice shells. There's a big old cockle shell on the beach here. That's an oldie, pretty faded out. Wow. Good size one though. The cockle shell. We have lots of scallops, all different color scallops. Look at this. Look at the colors in that scallop shell. Is that not beautiful? That is a gorgeous shell right there. The scallop. There's another one right here. I guess hey, we have lots of scallops on the beach. There's kind of a pink one and a black one. Two scallops. There's a more of an orange colored scallop. You're seeing that worm shell in my hand. I don't want to put that in my pocket, so that's kind of creeping into the shot when I pick up some shells. But that's a great looking worm shell. You usually just find those tips. This morning I found a nice little shell. The tip with the shell. It's a great specimen. You can actually find them longer than that, but they're so fragile. The big ones are rare. It's a colorful, colorful cockle with some barnacles on it. There's a little, look at that, a little baby turkey wing. That's a little baby. A little baby turkey wing shell. That's cute. So what treasures are you finding this morning? I'll tell you. The oh. She's been she's got a keen eye oh, for the that's worm a good shells. One Look too. at that. She usually finds just the tips. I don't this know. one the tip hasn't even formed yet. Look I at that. that. That's one. neat. Those are some neat worm shells. Yeah. We don't know if this is a baby pen shell it or is. or just a piece or of one. Or just a piece of one. That looks like a baby pen I shell. It might be. That is very cool. I haven't seen any babies. Yeah. That's a pen shell right there, folks. You find any shark, Steve? No. No. Nope. Nope. Not yet. I thought down there no. for sure you were going to find some. That looked very promising. That's right out in front of Roy there. Yeah. Well, I'm there telling you. Yeah. All the good shells are there, too. Yeah. Found a ton of them there. Yeah. Show them a handful of what Oh, you got a pocket full of shells? Yeah. We've got a bunch of murex shells. You got some, let me see some of your murex shells. I'm going to make you try to dig them out. Yep. Yes, we are. Oh, you're killing me. I gotta Here, do it. I can't do it. Ah, water. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna lose them. I got all these perfect scallops in oh, here. Oh, yeah, the scallops. Look at all scallops. that. These are all Beautiful. over the place. You're trying to catch some colors for our, our uh, bin at home. But the. Uh, where's the. Start the bottom. Ah, there's, there's an old, old, guy. old gray oh, guy. guy right there. I got a big. Uh, oh, man, whoa. you found all this already? Look at that. Hold on. We got a little thing of coral going at home. So. Oh, that's cool. It's 
pretty to hang out. Another piece of a Murex. Got a bunch yeah. of pieces, but I got a, somewhere a couple down here. Ones. Somewhere down here. And they always wind up down in the bottom of your pocket. Oops, See? Oh, up the coral. She's moon dropping. Show. Did you drop Dropped that coral the too? Shell. Dropped a moon shell. Yeah, but we've got some. You got enough. Pieces. Oh, you oh, found yeah. a moon shell too? There's a real tiny moon shell. There. Oh yeah. Nice little shark. Oh, yeah. moon shell. Piece of a murex with a long tip on it. Well, Ooh, look at. Oh, I forget there's what you call them. Grip. Air whelks. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, look that's this that's little neat. Little guys, I, and then there's yeah, a big I don't gold murex. Nutmeg shells. Yeah. Oh, there's the murex. Yeah. Big murex. It's like an oh, apple, an old apple murex shell. I don't know what else Gosh. I got in here. What's that little baby? I, it looks like a little murex too. I can't tell. That is a little murex. That's a little oh. baby apple. That's a little baby apple murex. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Milk. Yeah. You got a little whelk too. Oh, wow. I've been paying attention to you and the little shells. Man. Yeah. I love finding people, the tiny I mean, ones. there's tons of these, and people walk yeah. right by all these it. little ones. I've developed wow. a better eye for the tiny ones. Oh, wow. Even I can't see them all age. But... See, these two folks, they paid attention to the lesson. When you pay attention <laughs> to Rod's lesson, there you go. This is what you find. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there's a treasure of little jewels, little oh. gems out here. Now, can you uh, get a dolphin to swim up to the beach for me today? I could. I've been trying for days. I haven't seen one. I know. I don't know where they're at. Uh, there was no good shelling yesterday on the beach No. Here. Nope, very, uh, didn't get much yesterday. We did have a, saw the crawl there, did you? Yeah. Yeah, we have one crawl. Fantastic. There was no one, action. There was some over here yesterday, right? Did, the ranger said there was one. Well, we have one confirmed nest one confirmed down, there, right? down in area one by the ranger station. Very cool. Yeah. It had to have been last night. We walked down there yesterday. It would be fun to see one of those things hatch, but I'm telling you. you have to just set up a camp and... Yeah, exactly. There you go. We'll have to do that. Yeah. Come, uh, what, September? Well, 50 days. 50 days? 50 to 55 oh, yeah. days, yeah. Well, there's no so, hurricane around. We'll set up the camp. No hurricane. We'll sit there and wait we for them. There you go. We, we can't camp on this beach. We'll just sit and wait. No, no, no. Right, we're, yeah, exactly. right, we're just going to sit around and wait. Yeah. You're allowed to recreate 24 hours, but you can't camp. Nice. <laughs> recreate. recreate. We will be sure yeah. to follow We'll bring a noodle with us. There you go. Taking an evening swim. <laughs> Maybe. There you go. All right, good luck, guys. Good to see you, Rob. If I find... Surprised to see you this morning. Good happy. Nice Surprised? Yeah. Ooh, look at this. A stone crab. Wow. Big boy. Wow. What's left of one? A stone crab. I've never seen a stone crab washed up on the beach. People pay people floor. pay big bucks for those claws. Wow. They're delicious. Man, that's the first one of those I've seen washed up. They're worth their weight in gold. Another uh, gold, gold lightning well. Lightning well. Wow. All right, where's all the shark's teeth? I don't know. Bill, I think we, Bill yeah, Bill finds them all and takes them home with him yeah. to Canada. I think he comes out here when he first gets down and puts them out in the water. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> I'm gonna We're going to follow him when he comes down, that's for sure. We're going to follow him down the beach. <laughs> Big turkey wing. He never picks up a thing, but he's always got yep, a Yep, he does. <laughs> <laughs> nice turkey wing shell. That's funny. Look at it. More scallops. Look at these. This beach. There is just an hang on. <laughs> I keep dropping stuff here. An abundance of all types and colors of scallops. Oh, look at that. Holding that worm shell. It's kind of a challenge. Bear with me. Look at those two beautiful scallops. Great colors. Just a little sampling of what you can find here. Those are beautiful shells, those scallops. Put them over there for someone else to find. Ooh, nice olive shell. It's got a hole in it. Uh, yeah. Wait till you. Another month or so, you'll see these crawling all around out there. Yeah. 
find these live olive shells out in the water. Beautiful shells, the olives. The olive shell. That's a nice size one right there. Nice patterns on it. The olive shell. Boy, lots of turkey wings up here this morning. I'm seeing lots of turkey wings. Lots of turkey wings. Lots of cockle shells. I've been seeing a lot of cockle shells over the past week. The cockle shell. Lots of Florida fighting conchs, especially up at the north end of the park here. Florida fighting conch shell. Just make sure there's nothing inside a shell before you take it home. No living creatures. All kinds of little critters make these shells their home, not just the conchs. Beautiful shells, though. Great souvenirs. Now here, now here's what happens to everybody on the beach. See, you just walked by a big moon shell. Yep. You just never know. You just, it's amazing. No matter how much you look, you walk by shells. And there's a moon shell. I do it all the time. I mean, it's just the way the light's hitting it, you know, it just, you can walk back and you're going to find a whole, a whole new set of shells coming back. Well, there's a great little moon shell. It was just looking at me. Uh, <laughs> I think it was hiding from yeah, you guys. It was waiting been, for me. It might have been mad at me yep. or something. Beautiful shells. <laughs> the shark eye. <laughs> so there's no such thing as somebody finding all of the good shells. <laughs> there's always something to be found out here. I was hoping to find one of those today. Another fighting conch. It's got a little scallop shell wedged inside of it. Perfect yeah, the scallops are so neat. I don't know what, it, were you watching when we used to have her friend out here, we called her the, the conch lady. Did you ever see her? She used to pick up all the, all of them, every single conch shell she could find on the really? beach, and then she'd set them up on the railings for people. Oh, and it's like, okay. you're taking the fun out of it for everybody. Right. <laughs> like, in December, there was a guy, I think, that's... from Boston or something. He'd come by with a bag every day. Oh, that German, the German guy. Yeah, yeah. He just, yeah. Oh, He's man. a great guy, but he would fill that bag up, yep. and he'd take him back to Chicago. Yeah, he was from was Chicago. Yeah. No, he said he just gives them to all his friends. Oh. He said it's cheaper than flying them down here. <laughs> you know, that's, you got to think about that one. Yeah. <laughs> you might use that one. Another one. Oh, these cock, there's cockles everywhere this morning. Beautiful whole cockles. Yeah. Wait till we get some of our low tides here. It's amazing what you find out on the sandbar. I already looked, that's about nine days away. Yeah. I've been looking. Now see, if Roy was walking along here with me, he'd be looking for mermaids out here in the water. That's his, that's what he wants to find is a mermaid. Just amazing how many cockle shells are on the beach this morning. Nice breeze blowing. The scallops are just incredible this morning. Beautiful scallop shells everywhere, look at that. I can't help picking them up and looking at them. They're so pretty. And over here, this is an old turkey wing. Look at that, that is a really old one. You can barely make out the pattern on it. That's a really old turkey wing shell. Wow.
Lots of great stuff up here this morning. Beautiful morning. It's gonna be a hot one today in Southwest Florida. Low 90s, they're saying 92 degrees today. Whew. Starting to warm up fast. But it sure is beautiful. Looking south down the beach towards Naples, the city of Naples. You see all those condos down there? That's the Park Shore area, it's called Park Shore. Very expensive beachfront condos. Ooh, Linda just found a huge piece of coral. That's nice. You know, it's. That is a nice piece of finger coral. That's like the base of it. Yeah. it this is so neat, but it's sad when you know when what you this know means. Yeah, it means it's, it's dying. dying. Yeah, our coral reef is dying. Here, which is really sad. I wonder if the I don't know if the red tide has a, you know an effect on coral. I don't know. Sure right. a lot of them. Yeah, there is. Lately, there has been a lot of coral. Uh, did Roy tell you we're, we uh, later on today we'll get his PayPal set up? We okay. got to make sure the bank's sent back and forth, and we found out how to get the address that PayPal gets him. So yeah, it's going to be a different thing than his email. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I want that so I can we'll share get that it. later today. And I'll send that to me. You. And then there's some couple other things I want to talk to you guys about <laughs> off camera. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> about the book. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we're not in it, please. No. <laughs> I'm just, I want to see him beef it up a little bit. I, right, right. I, yeah. You know, it's kind of wimpy if you ask me right now. <laughs> well, I mean, well, it's it's great stuff. You know, it's great stories, but he's got so much to share with us. Right, you're right. He's he needs to take his time. Too. Yeah. Let unless unless he's got a sequel. He might have a sequel in mind. Yesterday, right. he was down here yesterday writing all day. Was well, he? Was probably, but he had his pad down here and he Good. was writing away. I mean, there's so many things that we have talked about over the years that, yeah, that he can share. Yeah. I mean, he needs to put his little one-liners in there. He's got a bunch of little one-liners. He's got good you know? zingers in there. Zingers, that... yeah. <laughs> well, well, Just have to all... help him remember. Well, that's what I've been trying to do. But that's then, the key. Yeah. Is, uh, think he's... You know, he's pretty set in his way. He's 93 years old. It's pretty hard to change Roy's mind. <laughs> We're not going to do it. Nope. <laughs> we'll just help him along. Yep. Well, that's awesome. The journey. It, it, the journey, you got it. We're just along for the ride. Ooh, another dead crab on the beach. Huh. This must be the red tide getting these guys. Mm, what a shame. A stone crab earlier. Wow, I'd never seen a stone crab on the beach here. seen some great shells this morning so far the tides making its way in here so it's starting to pull all the shells back into the water that are right along the edge here this is where all the good ones are you can see this little line of shells Another big piece of coral over here. Ooh, there's a whelk, an old whelk, piece of a whelk shell. What's left of a whelk? What's left of a lightning whelk? Beautiful shells. The lightning whelks. This is an older one, kind of faded and broken. Fine focus. I'm having a hard time getting the camera to focus there, sorry. Old lightning whelk shell. Where was that big piece of coral? Oh boy, I just found a beauty. I found a beauty here. Wait till you see what I found after I show you this piece of coral. Nice piece of coral. Finger coral. A beauty. A beautiful, beautiful baby crown. Beautiful baby crown conch. I've been wanting one of these. Perfect colors. Look at that. That is a gorgeous, 
baby crown con. Wow. Woo. I gotta show that one to Scott. Something I've been wanting to find. I haven't found one with such great colors. A little baby crown con. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the color in there. Yeah, when they get bigger, they're just awesome. Wow. But they're usually faded out. Right, that's beautiful. An orange horse conk the other day about this long. Oh, you found them. It was orange. That's yeah. That's that what color they color are. There? Yeah, they're an orangeish color when they're really? small. Yep. Yeah, probably this big. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool. The horse conks. I like those problems. Yep. Lots and lots of scallops. More scallops down here. Here's an interesting looking scallop shell. Get some light on it there. Come on, focus. I don't know why the camera's not focusing here. There you go. There's a little a baby fighting conch. Just a little small fighting conch. So there's this worm shell. I don't want to put it in my pocket because I'm afraid of breaking it, but there's a fighting conch on the right and a crown conch on the left. Florida fighting conch, small one, both babies, both small shells. making our way up to the north end of the park here, up to Wiggins Pass. Let's see how the barge is doing, how the dredging project is going on up here, coming along. Oh, more finger coral on the beach. That's sad. This just means that our coral reefs are slowly dying and we find the broken pieces of coral on the beach. Another piece of worm rock over here. Worm rock. Absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning. And yet, we'll have one. beautiful shells. Wow. All right, I don't know what that is. That's a big one, whatever it is. I know our friend Jennifer has found one of these, but look at this. This is kind of cool. Watch, when I flip this over, I'm gonna get to see the inside of this shell. How neat is that? That's definitely a keeper. Look at that. That is cool. See the inside like that? Oh. 
Scott found one of these on the beach the other day. Look at that, I just walked right by this. Linda, Linda, Linda. Another moon shell. Oh, one. <laughs> yep. I walked right by it too. I was just coming back to show you something and I found this another moon shell. I wish the camera would focus. I'm gonna get him in a second at what you want. I bet you are. <laughs> I mean, I walked right by this one. Oh, here's another one. Ah. Two moon shells. But I, I wanted to show you something. The other day you found that white shell and you didn't know what it yeah. was. It was one of those, right? And that, yeah. But look at this one. Like that. But look at this. You can see the inside of it. Remember it had that little oh, swirly? Yep. But that's kind of neat seeing the inside. Now I wonder. That's 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 the same thing. I that think. almost like, looks like the same. This one's like a, on an older fit. That is that is so cool. So what kind of shell? I don't know if that's all these little guys were sitting right there. Yeah. What are know. these? That is a nice, that's a nice color. And that's got those ridges on the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Yep, same way. That is so cool. All right. What I'll are figure these? that one out. Huh. Somebody will post on there. <laughs> I'm getting so many comments, I can't read them all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh... You gotta watch the... Oh, yeah, we'll have to watch the replay. Yep. Well, there's an older one. That's a good size one. That's got some neat colors on it. Neat patterns. <laughs> well, you gotta get the Look, there's an old here. tulip right there. Oh, yeah. An old tulip shell. Look at that moon shell. That's got some great patterns going on it. A shark eye or a moon shell. Boy, some great shells. Two nice little moon shells. That's awesome. That's three I found today. I mean, there's three of us here walking along the beach in the same place, and we're all finding something different. That's how shelling works. I mean, you really, really have to keep your eyes open. Another beautiful little baby fighting conch shell. A little baby Florida fighting conch. There's lots of conchs on the beach. My best find, though, so far today was that little baby crown conch. That was beautiful. That was an absolutely gorgeous shell. Again, I don't know. I can always forget what these are called. People people comment in the what the name is. I always forget what the name of these shells are. You see a lot of them on the beach. A lot of live ones with the little crabs or snails in them. Looks like we've got a weak signal here. We're, our signal's drifting in and out here, our connection. That's why the image gets fuzzy. I'm at the mercy of Sprint. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no Wi-Fi out here at the beach. There's a cockle. A cockle shell with the, the tip of a worm shell hooked on it. It's kind of neat. I just saw a piece of a worm shell down here somewhere. There you go. That's a, that's a the worm shell without the tip. Usually we find the tips and not the shells. There's the shell without the tip. 
There's the shell with the tip underneath it. It's a great one right there that I found. A little faded out, but still nice. Good morning. Be sure to hit the share button, especially if you're just joining us. If this is the first time you've taken a beach walk with us, let your friends know about it. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Nice little kitten paw shell. Kitten paw. Got a great little group of people here watching. A lot of friendships have been made here during these beach walks. And what's really neat is right here on this beach, because of these live feeds, I have met a lot of viewers in person right here on this beach from all around the world. It is amazing how the internet has connected us and how Facebook has brought people together. I know Facebook's getting a bad rap, but you know what? It is what it is. It's free. If you don't like it, don't use it. So this is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida on a beautiful Tuesday morning. What that is out there in the water, that's a dredging barge. That's Wiggins Pass. That's the mouth of Wiggins Pass up there. The channel that goes inland to, it's actually the mouth of the Cocahatchee River, Wiggins Pass. And they're dredging it out. Hurricane Irma really dumped a lot of sand in here and filled in the pass so they're just getting to dredging it out now hurricane wilma hit us back in september of last year did a lot of damage on the beach knocked over a lot of our trees here on the beach used to be some beautiful trees sea grapes here you'd walk under they kind of overhung the water hurricane irma knocked them all down Or something neat. People hang shells on the trees up here. You can see all the seashells. People hang these shells for several different reasons. The biggest reason is people will hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you see these. Show a little respect take the shells off and put them in your pocket. Sometimes there's some real beauties hung here. I see I've hung some really nice ones and people have taken them off. I've hung quite a few shells in this spot right here and they always disappear. But besides hanging a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away, a lot of people hang a shell and say a prayer or make a wish. Some folks just hang a shell as a decoration. But for whatever reason, please keep the tradition alive and hang a shell. I am Rob. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble again. No, you're not. I'm in trouble again. We are happy to see you. Oh, hi. Well, I'm Rob. Hi. This is Rob, and you are? I am Linda. Linda, hi, this Linda. Is Gretchen. Gretchen, hi, how are you? Good. Nice Buffalo. to meet you. Buffalo, yeah. nice. How long are you down for? Oh, this is like this last day. The last day already? Yeah. Oh. We saw you the other day, but I think that's him, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm usually the only one walking around with one of these things, <laughs> talking I to myself. To your, your picture. Oh, great. My hair is all oh, blown all over the place. Right. I look like a beach bum. <laughs> 
I'm not really a beach bum. That's fine. <laughs> oh, wonderful oh. to see you. Hey, it's nice meeting you. <laughs> nice to meet Thank you. Thank you for too. coming. <laughs> I'm glad I conver Thanks converted some more narration. people. Oh, there you go. Well, now you're a part of it. <laughs> that is awesome. Take care. Yep, you too. <laughs> it is so fun meeting people. I was just talking about that, how I meet people that have seen me on Facebook here at the beach. Absolutely amazing. Such a small world. Well, both barges are up right up here by the close into shore this morning. Both of the dredging barges. You see the one further out and then there's one right in the middle of the pass up here. We'll go have a look at that quick. Hopefully we won't lose our connection. Wow. Beautiful out here. Look at that. This is a great place to watch the boats going in and out of the pass. Lots of beach up here. You can't go swimming up here. This is for fishing only up at the north end. It's a great place to watch the fishermen when they're out here. I don't see any fishermen today. I don't know how long the barges are going to be here dredging. We'll walk up to the end, get a closer look at the barge. Nice breeze blowing up here. Feels good. As one of our fishermen, but he didn't have his fishing poles with him today. Pretty breezy up here. The tide's on its way in here. 9.15 is the official high tide for Wiggins Pass today. little pile of shells. Anything interesting? Uh, a couple little cockle shells. Quite a few little cockles. We've seen a lot of them. Those little cockle shells. Let's just go up here and have a look at that barge. This is the closest I've seen it so far. The closest that I've been able to get to it. That's a little conks up here. Little fighting conks. Any live ones? No. No live Florida fighting conks. Just some nice little shells. Here's a murex. An old murex. That's what a coconut lace, a coconut murex shell. We're right up here on the point now at Wiggins. At the north end of the beach at Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. There's a piece of an old lightning whelk, a big old lightning whelk. You can hear the dredging barge in the background. I'll show you that in a minute. An old, old lightning whelk, part of an old lightning whelk shell. Beautiful olive shell right here. Wow. There's a beauty. It's got the tip on it. Usually they don't have the tip, the olives. That's a beautiful olive shell right there. Definitely a keeper. Very nice olive shell. 
always check, make sure there's nothing in there, no snail living in there before you take it home. A couple little, a couple more fighting conks. A little one, a medium sized one here. A couple nice little shells up here at the end of the beach. Nobody fishing though. I was hoping to find a live conch, but nope. Just all empty shells. All empty conch shells. Another little turkey wing. Turkey wing shell. Beautiful out here this morning. Where's that barge? These guys have been working here for a couple weeks now. Pelican sitting right out here in front of us. I'm gonna take a picture, bear with me. All right, I'm back. Good zoom in. First, I'm gonna show you the pelican. Oops. That's not the pelican, that's me. Huh, the screen isn't working there when that, there we go. Where's the pelican? That's a brown pelican. Second dredging barge offshore there, pushed by the by the tug. out of that long hose out there. I don't know where it goes. The hose goes around. Not to where that other boat is. That where that white mark on is out there. out fishing, heading out for a day of fishing. Well, let's turn around and head back down the beach see our friend Roy. See if we missed any shells down there. Beautiful morning. Beautiful sky. Look at those colors. I know all of our boating friends are happy to see that barge over there.
Beautiful. Look at that sky. Beautiful blue sky. Lots of shells. Seen a lot of fighting conks on our walk this morning. The Florida fighting conch shell. Two fighting conks right there. Oh, is this going to be my fourth moon shell? Yeah, found four little moon shells this morning. Shark eyes or moon shells. This is the fourth one I found today. Sometimes they'll have a beautiful, beautiful bright blue eye. And you'll call that a Paul Newman when that eye is blue. A moon shell or shark eye. Great find. There's an old, there's a piece of one. It's pretty worn out there. This is the top of the moon shell. It's a nice little tiny. I'm gonna keep that. Nice little tiny biting conch. Really small biting conch shell. That's the baby there. And over here, see how they change color? Here's the bigger shell. See how dark they get? get that nice dark reddish brown start out as that little white shell, get nice and dark as they mature. I'm going to keep the little one. Oh, well, Scott and Linda have caught up to me. I'm sure they found some nice stuff. That's a good spot they're looking in right there. Lots of shells there. That's a good spot. Oh, you find for you a baby jewelbox. Oh, nice. Yeah, a little baby jewelbox. You got a nice moon shell. Awesome. A nice one too. That's a nice one. I saw. I picked this up and put it back. Yeah. That almost looks like it's blue. Oh, might be a, be a might be a Paul Newman. Yeah, beautiful. Nice one, Linda. Nice find. Thank you. And you're, there's probably some right here. There's probably some right here. We were shelling in those pools. We found amazing shells. Oh yeah. I mean, I just I'm just always just amazed by all the little scallops, all the different colors of these little scallops. Look at these scallop shells, little babies. Yep, there's another one of those. I don't know what those are. Somebody's gonna, somebody will tell us. Hey, Taco Tuesday today. Five dollars. Five dollars for three tacos at the North Naples Country Club. We may have to pursue that one though. We did find a good place for tacos to stay as well up at the Brass Tap. The Brass Tap. We got some delicious uh, uh, street tacos up there. Oh wow. So we thought about maybe lunch up there. Well, yeah, they're not. Yeah, oh yeah, lunch there you go. Perfect. And, uh, and they're quite good too. We found oh, the Brass Tap. Yeah, they got months ago. Yeah, what do they got? Like 60 different beers or something? They got a lot of taps. Something like that. I haven't tried them all yet. <laughs> you're, how, you're close, I bet. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Sounds good. Well, I'm glad Linda found her shark eye shell, her moon shell.
It was a good morning today. Beautiful weather. Great people out here, friends. Got to meet some of our Facebook friends from New York. That's amazing. Just about at high tide here, if I'm not mistaken. Gorgeous weather. Look at that. Despite the dredging barge, it's still gorgeous here. That was me taking pictures. That's why we lost our connection there. This barge is heading in. Stick with me here. I'm going to go chat with Roy for a little bit as I make my way south down the beach, back to where we started. We started down in Area 4. We did have one loggerhead sea turtle crawl last night. One female loggerhead sea turtle crawled up on the beach in an attempt to nest. It was a false crawl, no eggs. She did not have a successful crawl, so she'll be back. We've got one nest so far down in area one, down by the ranger station. It's very early in the nesting season. It's just begun. So as the weeks go on, we're gonna to start to see more and more crawl tracks on the beach. And those sea turtles, they will nest more than one time in a nesting season. They'll come up several, they can come up several times. They can get fertilized and come up several times and lay eggs during the nesting season. So they're active little girls this time of year. If you want to learn more, just Google loggerhead sea turtles. Lots of facts about the loggerheads. All protected. If you see a, a nest on the beach, don't mess with it. If you see any hatchlings, too early for hatchlings, but if you do come across a sea turtle hatchling, please stay away from it. There's a neat little piece of worm rot. Oh, a little chunk of worm rot. See the little worm tubes there? There's a focus. There you go. Worm rock. Another fighting conch shell down here. Yep, have a safe trip back home. It was nice meeting you. I'm glad you made it out to the beach. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah. You didn't have to you didn't have to suffer through any of that red tide, did you? No. Oh, no. lucky. You missed it. It was bad. <laughs> Thanks. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Say hi to Roy. Oh, absolutely. I might as well get your picture too. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> and it was names again. Linda. Linda. Gretchen. And Gretchen from Buffalo. From Buffalo. <laughs> Linda and Gretchen from Buffalo. Awesome. <laughs> Linda with an I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See y'all later. Have a great day. You too. Linda and Gretchen from Buffalo. How cool is that? Roy and I have met people from all around the world here on this beach that have seen us on Facebook. Just amazing.
it just blows Roy's mind how the internet works. You know, I got a feeling it's getting late here. Yeah, see if Scott's got a watch on up here. Finding anything good? Uh, gray? Uh, well, there's a lot of them. Gray shells. Did you find another one? Yeah, another one of those white ones? What? Moon shell oh, moon white. Boy, that is, fa that is wild. A faded out moon shell. Or shark eye. You can't even see the eye. Oh. <laughs> it's an albino. <laughs> hey, what time is it there? Time for you to drive. Uh, 9.22. Oh, okay. I'm good. Oh, okay. I gotta get moving though. I gotta go see the old man and see what he's up to. Stuff to do. <laughs> yep. All right. Then we'll bump into you later. <laughs> gotta check in with Roy before I leave. There's a pretty, really pretty little. The way the light was shining through that is gorgeous. That fighting punk shell. Yeah, the light. It's kind of translucent. Isn't that neat? You can see the light shining through the shell. Beautiful. Lots of great finds out here this morning. Lots of awesome shells. Found a beautiful little crown con. That was definitely my find of the day. One of my favorite shells, the crown conks. A lot of people out here enjoying their morning. And dig through my pocket here. See if I can find that crown conch. It's pretty much impossible, but I'm gonna try. Ah, I found it. Check that out. Beautiful, a beautiful little crown conch. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shell. My favorite, by, by far. Oh, there's that broken moon shell I picked up earlier. I should have hung that on the shell tree, darn it. That would have been a great shell for the tree. That's a big one, too. What's left of the moon shark eye shell? And shells in all kinds of conditions here. Some of the older shells are neat too, the worn shells. But no shortage of seashells here this morning. Old lightning whelk, a little lightning whelk, piece of a lightning whelk. What's left of a lightning whelk shell? There's another. There's a stem from a lightning whelk. That one on the right, they call those twisties when you find those little spirals like that. A twisty.
Roy is still out on the beach. That's nice. We'll catch up with him in just a couple minutes. I'm just gonna turn around, take a quick, quick shot, a quick picture. Looking north up the beach, bear with me. All right, I'm back. Well, what a great morning we have had together. We've met some great people out here today. Seen some beautiful shells. The weather is just gorgeous. Water temperature is 83 degrees. 83 degrees. Wow. Expecting a high of 92 today. 92 degrees. Man. Welcome to Florida. tell people if when you're new to the group introduce yourself here make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from it's interesting to see where everybody's from you get people from all around the world watching it's amazing be sure to subscribe to my live feeds that way you'll get a notification when I go live. You won't be wondering. I don't have any set schedule for these beach walks. Every once in a while, I'll venture somewhere else in Naples, but for the most part, I stay right here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. It's close to home. And there's always something new and exciting to see. There's a little horseshoe crab. This is just, there's no meat in there. You see, this is the shell. They shed their shells. This is a baby horseshoe crab that has shed its shell. It's actually a nice shape there. The baby horseshoe crab. That's the front of it. And it's its tail there. See one its eyes there. Just up on that top horn, above that bump is the eye, one of its eyes. That's how they crawl along the bottom. You think that tail, it looks like a weapon, but it's not. The primary purpose of that tail is to flip it over. If it winds up on its back, they use that tail to flip themselves over. There was a really good special on the other day, Sunday on horseshoe crabs on the Nat Geo channel. Very interesting how they use the blood for medicine. These things have been around since dinosaurs. Over the underside. It's amazing how they even shed the shell of the skin around their, their feet. Just incredible. The horseshoe crab. Not a dead one. This is the exoskeleton that it has shed. Very cool. We've seen several of those on the beach today. I'll wash my hand off. A little stinky. That guy was a little stinker.
So how you doing, Daddy-o? Hey, how you doing, Rob? I am doing. Wonderful. You almost done with the book? No, just getting started. <laughs> it's really, really, really interesting. Yeah. These guys kayak down the Wild River there. They're just going through the Black Canyon, the Amazon. Wow. And so remind they... me, when we were kids, we built kayaks, too. We kayaked on Lake really? Michigan. Yeah, that was a good time. <laughs> wow. Paddled our little kayaks. What'd you build them out of? Oh, uh, little strips of wood and the canvas colored, covered, and you uh, paint the canvas, make it watertight. Really? It was a good time, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think maybe we got a kit from the store or something, but I know we built kayaks, and we, we used to run all the western rivers with a with a pump-up uh, rubber boat we had, too. Oh, yeah, did some oh, man. rafting. Yeah. yeah, ran all those rubber, those wild rivers. Wow. That was something. Utah, there was a canyon. Did you ever get Utah. flipped out of it? Oh, and how. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Quite a wild time. Wow. <laughs> I bet that was fun. That water was pretty cold, wasn't it? Yeah, you aren't kidding. The old Colorado almost did us in going through the Narrows. Really? Yeah. I told you about that with the guide, didn't ah. I? Well, we ran all the rivers, and we thought we were really hot shots, so we wanted to run the Colorado through the Narrows there. That was one of the bigger deals. And uh, they wouldn't let us do it without, we had to get a permit. So we got a permit to run the river, and uh, to get the permit, they said, you have to have a guide. We said, we don't need a guide. We've uh, run every river in the USA, the, in uh, Idaho and Utah, and I don't know where all, we know what we're doing, we don't need a guide. Well, they were adamant. They said, that's the rule, and you cannot run that river without a guide. So we reluctantly uh, hired a guide, and it was, I tell you, the best thing we ever did. Without the guide, we'd still be there in, in the rapids, believe me. Because we went down in our rubber boat, and we thought we were hot shots. There was a standing wave. You know, in the ocean, the waves come right. and go. This wave never quit. Really? It was right there. We went up, zip, Bam! Tumbled over backwards, this huge standing wave. We milled around, we never could get out of the wave. And we're huh. milling around, half drowning, and this guide, he had huge muscles, he had his own boat, he rolled out with his own boat, and he plopped both of us <laughs> out of the water. Huh. How old were you? He saved our lives. Wow. Well, I don't know, we were growing up. It was, you In know, your 20s? Uh, I think older than older that. Older than that, really? Maybe 50s, who knows. Oh, so you're a bunch of cocky old guys. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't old at 50. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was 60, I don't know. But you're still not old. My buddy, he was a big, strong guy, too, and we thought we knew what we were doing. But Wow. Boy, oh boy, I'm telling you, that guy, he was really something. I don't know how he did it. He never flipped his boat, and he pulled us out of the water. He was he was something else. He, Man, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was quite nice. Well, you've had a lot of adventures on the water, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I love the water. You were there on a ship almost, they like were going to, had a mutiny. They almost had a mutiny, you said. Oh, when I was captain, yeah. <laughs> and how. <laughs> Boy, what was that story again? Well, I wouldn't let the mate smoke in my pilot house, and he about went crazy. <laughs> yeah, he was going to take over the boat, so the ship, so he could smoke in my pilot house. And we had a big staring contest, which I won. Uh, where was that? That was Hawaii? Uh, yeah, I was out in Hawaii because I used to be on the wrestling team at college. Back in those days, I was a lot bigger and more muscular, and I was ready to pitch him overboard. <laughs> I, think, I think he realized that, and he finally gave in and slunk back to the stern and had his cigarette out in the stern away from my pilot house. Uh. And you, what did you, you didn't you say you cap, you piloted a glass bottom boat? Yeah, yeah, we went over, and the mate kind of resented me. He, he, uh, oh, that I, was on that boat. Yeah, I think he wanted boat. to, I think he wanted to take over, but he wasn't, didn't have his captain's license or something, so he wouldn't even tell me where the reef was. But I, I wandered around out there and I found the reef, and all the passengers were happy to, to look down at the reef. and... I don't know, did I tell you how I got the job? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, what a go-around that was. <laughs> what year you well, think this was? Any I don't know, when I was out in Hawaii, but uh, uh, I, I studied and I got my master's license from the Coast Guard, which I was very proud of. And then after I got my license, I had my fancy hat with a gold braid on the visor yeah. and my shirt with a four, right. four gold stripes, epaulets on the shirt. Man, I felt grand. So I, I went down to the harbor in 
posed around and I offered my business card to various companies that I'd captain their ship. Well, everybody had a captain. You know, thank you very much, but we'll get in touch and blah, blah goodbye. So I skulked around the harbor quite a bit and without getting any job at all, it was kind of disappointing. One morning, early in the morning, the phone rings. Will you come down and take our ship? Apparently the captain had gone in a bender the night, be <laughs> night before. He was all bent out of shape and he couldn't take the ship. That happens a lot with those guys. <laughs> well, anyway, so they told me what the name of the ship was and that was that. Click, you know, so I had to go down. I didn't even know. What was it? You remember the name of it? I don't know, a lot of years uh. ago. So I, I looked around the harbor. There were a lot, of, a lot of boats in the harbor, that's for sure. I finally found the boat. And I went aboard, and just about the time I got there, all the guests were starting to arrive. And, and, you know, good morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. I'm there welcoming aboard, and I didn't know from nothing about running the boat. So I'd never, you know, never been out right. in it. And so when everybody got aboard, I, uh, I, I pretended like I knew what I was doing, and I, ho <laughs> I hollered, cast off fore and aft. You know, that took care of that part. Right. But then getting getting the engines. I was in the pilot house. Here I'm faced with all this machinery and dials and levers. I didn't know from nothing. I'd never taken the boat out, you know, and had a, you know, shakedown cruise. Right. And I looked around and all these things. And finally I found a key that when I turned it, there was a boom, I got the engine started. That was a big plus. Like I say, this mate, he wasn't about to help me one bit. He was very antagonistic. So, um, and finally I figured out if I pulled some levers, the, the boat would back up. So I, I nudged, <laughs> nudged it out of the slip without crashing in anybody. That's and something. Finally got going. So that was my first Trial by fire, huh? First Boy. experience as a captain of a ship. <laughs> well, you made it. You made it. I made it. God bless. I got back. Everybody was happy. I found the reef and we looked at the fish and I don't know what all. So it was a good well, time. Well, that is awesome. That's an, that, that, I can't, they just basically handed you the keys to the boat and turned you loose, huh? Didn't even have me the keys. <laughs> they were in it. <laughs> well, and then unfortunately the owner, he wasn't making enough with the custom, with the right. passengers to pay for the maintenance on the boat. Uh, and the, the Coast Guard inspected us and it wasn't uh, up to par and they shut us down uh, and I had to run the boat to, to uh, where the heck was it, out in my... Uh, Someplace in Miami and uh, mm. I mean in in, in uh, Hawaii and uh, and that was the end of that. But it was quite a quite a good time. It sounds like fun. Yeah, it was another <laughs> interesting chapter. Um, <laughs> was good, well, and then now, but now just recently, what it's been what six months now? You've had your license reinstated. Well, yeah, that's another thing. I got this friend and uh, and he said that he's got a boat and he takes people out. He says, oh, Roy, you get your license and uh, you'll get all kinds of jobs. Everybody's looking for a captain. Great. So I, I let my license lapse like a big dunce. But uh, <laughs> apparently you got to have, you know, you go out on the water a certain amount every year. And it's right. Sort of, well, anyway, so I studied. I passed the test and I got my license. So the same deal, I swaggered down to the, to the docks and uh, everybody had... <laughs> Nobody needs a captain, so I'm uh, still hoping. Well, you never know. Nothing's materialized. Maybe with all the money from the book sales, we can buy your own boat. <laughs> I had enough of boats. I... I'll be your first mate. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got rid of the old sailboat up in Wisconsin. No, thankfully Boats not. are an expensive little detail. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, it's fun hearing your stories about the old days. <laughs> the good old days. The good old days. Oh, well, these are the good, good now you know, days. Yesterday, new days. yesterday was one of the good old days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Today will be right. one of today them. Today is a good new day. Yep. Boy. So we can't worry about the past. We just kind of laugh about it and remember the good things. And you got that right. <laughs> and go on with like life. Like say, enjoy the moment. Yeah, life is glorious. Enjoy the it? journey. Oh, it's fabulous, Rob. Just fabulous. When are you coming swimming with us? Oh, uh, one of these years. Jenny's going to be down later on. We're going for a plunge or two. Mm, okay. Out to the outer reefs. <laughs> out to the outer reefs. Oh, yeah. She always cons me into right. swimming out to that sandbar. Well, don't get lost. I don't want to hear you've washed up on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>
Hasta la vista, buenos dias, yeah. All right, Roy. It's always good seeing you. Wonderful. Always seeing good you, hearing Rob. a hearing a story or two as well. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. You too, Rob. God bless and tally ho. Tally ho. Bye bye. Tally ho. <laughs> Facebook friends. There you go. All right. Well, it's getting time to wrap up the beach walk. Beautiful Tuesday. Beautiful Tuesday morning here in North Naples. Saw lots of great shells this morning, lots of interesting things. Had one loggerhead sea turtle crawl. One female crawled on the beach last night in an attempt to lay some eggs. It was a false crawl, so she'll be back. You never give up, do you, Scott? I just unloaded my pockets. I oh, empty, empty pockets. pockets. Might as well so, fill them up again. Right. There's plenty. I and I found an extra pocket I didn't know I had. Oh, wow. So I can get more. <laughs> All right. Good luck, brother. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Our good friend, Facebook friend. We met on Facebook. And here at the beach, Scott and Hagyar. We met a lot of wonderful people here at the beach through Facebook. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I know you're going to find something you like. Lots of pictures of the beach. Some of the birds, the shells, the marine life. I haven't seen any dolphins lately, but we got some, had some great dolphin encounters out here. So definitely check those out. Roy and I had, had one incredible dolphin encounter here and the video from that is on Facebook and YouTube. So you probably want to go look for that. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan, up in North Naples, Florida, at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, wherever you might be in this big, beautiful world we live on. God bless.